Hi guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to Get Good At Golf. Today we're talking a little bit of short game and because James is not here, I can say this is the most important part of the game. This is the area that I specialize in, so short game and putting, and that's what we want to talk about today. Everybody wants to know, and we'll always see, everybody wants to know, everyone wants to hit the driver further, we all know that. And that's great. We do need to hit your driver further. A lot of people can do that by making the changes that are on this channel. But we also need to improve this area of the game. How many people get to the green, think they've done all the work, they've hit it 400 yards, they've got to the edge of the green, and it takes them four shots to get up and down from here. And that's what's costing you. If we can save you a couple of shots around the edge of the green, we can save you a couple of shots on the green each round, that's four shots potentially coming off your score and lowering your handicap, which is what we want to do. So one thing that I see from short game guys, and one thing that we need to improve, is how we set up to the golf ball. A lot of times with the full swing, with the driver, we talk about setup, we talk about motion. We need solid basics, so we need a good setup. How many times I see people playing a 15 yard shot just like this, and we stood this far away from it, addressing the golf ball, just like we're hitting a full shot. So here, if you couldn't see a flag and you was looking at me from a distance, you think, well, he could be hitting this 100 yards, he could be hitting it five yards. We just don't know. From here, we've got a lot of work to do. I've got a wide stance. And with that wide stance, there's a lot of potential for me to move off the ball. So I could move off here, then I'm moving my low point, I'm well behind the golf ball. And that's great if we're hitting a full shot. If we're hitting a full swing, we want to transfer our weight onto the right, shift it over to the left. In short game, we're playing such a short shot, we're not trying to do any kind of weight transfer. If I then move off, my low point's gonna be back here, and we see a lot of people then hang back. Well, it's got up in the air, but it's got nowhere near the distance that I need to get. And what we also see from this position is if I've got a full stance, if I'm stood too far away from the ball, we've got a lot of club rotation. We start to see a lot of people bring the club way inside. We start to see people potentially fan the club way open. And even on such a short shot like this, if I've got the club face way open, I've got a lot of work to do to get that back down to the golf ball square. I've got to get all my timing right. I've got to turn good. Right, I've hung back there. Okay, that one's done pretty well. It's gone to six feet. Am I going to make that? Percentage would say that's going to be probably better than 50% chance for a tour player. For an average golfer, we're probably looking at one in four from there. So again, not making sure we get up and down, because I've not done the right work here. So if you're struggling with your chipping, if you're getting a lot of drop kicks, if you are thinning the golf ball, what I want you to do is get much closer to the golf ball. So we're just over a foot away from that golf ball now. I'm a little bit taller in my setup, and you'll also see, when I move the camera, stance is much narrower. I'm gonna talk through that in a second. But if I get a little bit closer, we get the heel of the club off the ground, so my arms are a little bit taller, or the club or the shaft is a little bit taller. Then from there, you see, if I make a backswing, there's not much face rotation. So it's a lot squarer on the way back, and there's a lot less that can go wrong. So from here now, I can get that club working a little bit more outside of my hands. It doesn't drop inside. We get a better descending blow. And you'll see I get a better strike. I get a more controlled trajectory. And I can start that ball exactly where I want it. It started on line, which is the main thing. How many times I see amateurs hit it left, hit it right on such short shots and leave themselves a tricky putt that they can't hold out. So front face on, like I mentioned there, stance width now is gonna be around about a club width apart. And we're gonna talk in a second how far back we can go with this. We've got a 15 yard chip shot here, a very basic chip shot, but this is the stance that I would have all the way around the green four different shots. The only one where we'd potentially change is a downhill lie, which we'll talk about in coming weeks. But a nice narrow base there, that's gonna allow me now, I can't move off the ball, otherwise I'm going to fall. So my low point now and my sternum is going to stay in a nice centered pet in a nice centered place. So weight a little bit left, as we know with short game, we want to have around about 60, 70% on your left. Sternum's then just ahead of the ball. That's gonna encourage me to hit a little bit down into that, get it popping up and going at the trajectory that I want. We then change club if we want it lower, if we want it higher, we can pick exactly what we've got in the bag. So club width apart, left foot turned out a little bit, weight left, and you see I'm much closer to the ball and taller, and it's much easier for me now to repeat a nice simple motion. And as I bring the camera around shortly, we'll see that one's gone to around about a foot. But much easier than if I'm stood here, guys, I've got my weight, my feet open, I move off the ball. 
got nice and high. Everyone says you should hit a high shot in short game, but we've got no control on distance. So let's move back now, guys. Let's show you how far you can potentially go with this to help you improve this part of your game. So we're now back at around about 45 yards to that back flag. So again, people will get to 45 yards, they'll get the 60 out straight away, and it's nearly a full shot. So stance width's wide. Yeah, right. Oh, perfect, that's worked great. Oh, actually, no, it hasn't, it's ran on. Oh, that's gone around about 15 feet past, which, yes, you would probably take from here. But there's a lot of error that can come from that kind of swing. So a big, long swing there, it's all down to timing. If I don't move correctly, if I move off that ball, I'm sending it thin, straight through the green, then everybody starts to get afraid of using the 60 or the 56. They go, all right, what I'll do is I'll just get a six iron out and I'll just get that going forwards. Right, that's good. Yeah, that's worked nicely, and it's done better than the one that's gone above. But it's not going to work every single time. One time it comes like, off like a rocket, it goes over the green, it goes into the rough, it goes into a bunker. It starts to get tense, we've got no control. But again, guys, if I get my stance nice and narrow now, club width apart, really emphasise turning this left foot out. So by turning this left foot out, what it's allowing us to do is turn through the shot better. We're not making a full weight transfer here, so we want to turn that out to make sure we can turn through the golf ball. If you stand there now, in your living room whilst you're watching this video, and just turn your hips, we're restricted to how far we can go. If I now open that left foot out, I can now get a lot more rotation. And short game, the key thing is talking about rotation of the body and the hips, not what most people do, and trying to flick the hands and try and scoop the ball into the air. So again here, club width apart, left foot turned out, my weight is left, and I'm now just gonna make a nice easy motion. And you'll see there, lands where I want, just doesn't get up that ridge, but nice and easy. A lot less effort than if I've done that first motion where I've got a wider stance, I've made nearly a full swing with a 60 degree from here, and it's nice and controlled. So guys, what I want you to do is try this out, get around the edge of the greens, get into that posture. We're gonna be around about a foot away, a little bit taller with the shaft, stands nice and narrow, a club width apart, with the left foot turned out. My weight is on the left, and from there, I can make a much simpler motion. But what I want you to do is try that and see how far you can go back with that stance. We can change club, you might get all the way back to 60, 70 yards, be using your 52 or your pitching wedge with the same stance and making a much more easy motion, nice and simple, and controlling that flight, hitting more greens, and if we hit more greens, that moves on to the next part we're gonna be talking about. So we're gonna be talking some putting shortly, and that video will be out later this week. So once we've got on the green, what do I see on the green that's costing a lot of people three putts and basically keeping your handicap where it is. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully it's been nice without James. I'm only joking, James. He's in California at the moment, but he will be back helping you get good at golf, and we'll see you then.